It was the frigid phenomenon in the summer of 2014. The ice bucket challenge meant to raise awareness and funds for ALS, a debilitating disease with no cure. Christina Golgi was diagnosed at just 31, given just two years to live. Then she was given a new drug called AMX35 in a trial funded by the more than 200 million raised by ice bucket donors. There was a very brief period where she was not on the drug and we really saw a dramatic difference in the progression of her ALS in that period compared to when she was on the drug. Researchers in the New England Journal of Medicine report patients who got the drug retained physical functions longer, like speaking, walking, swallowing. Did you think you would see this in your lifetime? No, this is, this is amazing. I mean, this is a dream um, come true for me. Results so good, the ALS Association is petitioning the FDA to bypass phase three trials and get the drug to patients now. Any improvement that we can give uh, through medications is going to be substantial for these patients who have a very short lifespan. Nancy Frady's son Pete created the Ice Bucket Challenge before he died of ALS. When Pete was diagnosed, we didn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Not only do we see the light at the end of the tunnel, but now we can feel its rays and it's going to happen. The money raised from the Ice Bucket Challenge has funded more than 100 potential therapies. Christina wants to see her kids graduate. Obviously we want a cure, but if we just freeze it and just stop the degradation where it is, we're both very happy. A family full of hope, thanks to one man's dream and the donations of many. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.